G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are a few brownie recipes out there, but it's Christmas, so I'm gonna spruce it up a little bit. So join me today as I make my version of a white chocolate brownie. Okay, so we're going to start by mixing half of our ingredients. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to put in our two eggs and a cup of sugar and a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're going to mix that through for a few minutes until it's all well combined. Okay, so while everything is mixing away, I have a pot on the stove on a medium heat. So to that, I'm going to put in five tablespoons of butter or about 60 grams worth. And our white chocolate. Now for the total recipe, I'm using one and a half cups of white chocolate. But what I want you to do is divide it into two lots. So you're going to have half in this pot melting away with the butter. And we're going to have another half set aside for later. So just mix this just until the chocolate and the butter is completely melted. But make sure you continuously stir this, otherwise you can burn the chocolate. Okay, so once the chocolate and the butter is completely melted, just take it straight off the heat. Okay, so everything is nice and creamed up here. So we have our chocolate and butter mixture. Now they'll never fully combine. You can just mix them as much as you possibly can. But while it's at this stage, we're just going to place it straight into our mixing bowl. And we're gonna mix that through for a couple of minutes, just until everything is well combined. Okay, now that it's all well combined, to that we're gonna add in one cup of self-raising flour. Now if you don't have self-raising flour, just use one cup of normal plain flour and add about half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then to that, about a pinch of salt, which just helps enhance the flavor. And we're just gonna mix that through. Okay, now I've got the rest of our chocolate chips just in a Ziploc bag here. And we're just gonna just break them up, just lightly break them up. Okay, so now with our white chocolate, we're just going to place that into the mixing bowl and just mix it through just for a couple of seconds, just until it's combined with the mixture. Okay, next I've just got a baking dish here. I've just lined it with some non-stick baking paper and just make sure you have some hanging over the side because it just makes it easier to pull up. So now it's just a simple matter of pouring our brownie mixture into our baking pan. Okay, so now we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, they're out of the oven and I've let them cool down for about an hour and I've just cut them into some squares. Now, as you can see, this is a thin brownie type recipe, but if you want them a little bit thicker, just use a smaller pan. But with this recipe, you don't want to make them too thick, otherwise they just won't cook properly in the center. Now they do look a little boring like this, so what I've done is I've melted some more white chocolate. Now this chocolate is above and beyond the chocolate that I've got in the description, so a little bit extra, and I've just placed into a Ziploc bag. So just kind of cut the corner off the Ziploc bag and just make some patterns on your brownies. And there we have it, our white chocolate brownies. Now that was a very simple recipe, a very easy recipe, but I can tell you it's gonna be a very tasty recipe. So for a little Christmas twist on a traditional recipe, you need to give this a go because it will taste fantastic. But, let's try one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. It is slightly more moist than a normal brownie, but keep in mind I did throw in that extra white chocolate at the end, and that has worked itself into that mixture beautifully. But as brownies go, this white chocolate brownie tastes simply delish. So if you're tired of the regular old brownies, give this white version a go because I know you will love it. Because it's simply different and it works. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, a list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Home Handy Hints channel, where I put up three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. And until then, please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.